came to us and he says, I have an idea. You know, I, the idea is a concept of how to bring tennis out of the country clubs and put them into the public parks and public recreational areas and really expose a lot of kids to tennis. The benefit of an NJTL program is really to provide opportunities for youth that are looking to get into a sport. It's teaching them how to be leaders. It's teaching them how to build their self-confidence, their self-esteem, and using these tools in life beyond the tennis court. I know how important it is for kids to have an outlet that really stresses education. I learned that at a very young age. My parents were, were there to stress it for me, and if it ever wasn't stressed in my household, it was stressed at the NJTL program, the Harlem Junior Tennis Program where I was. There's nothing more rewarding than when you meet somebody who will tell you, I am now a doctor, I'm now a lawyer, and I owe it to the NJTL program. I know that Arthur is very happy. He's looking down upon us, and I'm extremely proud of what all these wonderful people have done for our youth in America. Built by Arthur and Billy, Jimmy and Chrissy, Martina. Mac, and countless others, built through determination and drive, passion and pride, built on the strength of a city that never sleeps, and players who never give up, built from hopes, dreams, and what-ifs, built to inspire and amaze built to be the world's grandest stage, built for the fans. Mr. Rash came to us and he says, I have an idea. You know, I, the idea is a concept of how to bring tennis out of the country clubs and put them into the public parks and public recreational areas and really expose a lot of kids to tennis. The benefit of an NJTL program is really to provide opportunities for youth that are looking to get into a sport. It's teaching them how to be leaders, it's teaching them how to build their self-confidence, their self-esteem, and using these tools in life beyond the tennis court. I know how important it is for kids to have an outlet that really stresses education. I learned that at a very young age. My parents were, were there to stress it for me, and if it ever wasn't stressed in my household, it was stressed at the NJTL program, the Harlem Junior Tennis Program where I was. There's nothing more rewarding than when you meet somebody who will tell you, I am now a doctor, I'm now a lawyer, and I owe it to the NJTL program. I know that Arthur is very happy. He's looking down upon us, and I'm extremely proud of what all these wonderful people have done for our youth in America.
Hello everyone, my name is Brendan McIntyre. I am the Senior Director for Corporate Communications for the USTA. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out here today to Norman and Jean Reach Park to celebrate what will be the unveiling of the first ever art courts to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the US Open, supported by longtime US Open partner Chase. In a few moments, we'll have kids from First Serve Miami, one of 350 national junior tennis and learning chapters from across the nation, supported by the USTA Foundation, take port in a little tennis action and be the first ones to play on these pieces of art. Now before we get started, we have a few people to talk about what this means, what this means for Miami, and what this means for tennis across the country. First up, I'd like to introduce the Chief Marketing Officer for the United States Tennis Association, Amy Choi. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. On behalf of the United States Tennis Association and our charitable arm, the USTA Foundation, it's my pleasure to welcome you to Norman Jean Reach Park as we unveil the first of five art courts, a very special project we've launched to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the US Open with our good friends at Chase. I want to take a moment to thank many people that we couldn't have done this without. First and foremost, Keith Create, Manuela and Gray, for this amazing artwork you're about to see. James and Chris Champion and Leslie Gonzalez of First Sir. And Nick Roberts of the Miami Dade Parks. The USTA is dedicated to ensure any youth who wants to play our sport has the ability to do so. The United States Tennis Foundation supports this vision through the National Junior Tennis Learning Network, NJTL, a local grassroots organization that provides tennis and education programming. I want to recognize First Serve as one of these amazing organizations that are changing kids' lives. I'm excited that they can call these beautiful reimagined courts their own. So many of our U.S. Open champions, from Arthur Ashe to the Williams sisters, got their start on public courts just like these. Public courts are a canvas to learn, connect, and develop lifelong skills. This particular canvas is just a bit more colorful and hopefully an inspiration to find yourself in the game. Thank you very much. And now we'd like to introduce James Champion, Chairman of the Board, First Serve Miami. Thank you, thank you. Hey, isn't this a wonderful opportunity? Yes, it is, it is. And we want to thank not only all of you who participate, especially the kids. We want to, we want to thank the USTA Foundation for what it does, Chase for what it does. First Serve Miami is very, very pleased to be a part of the process. Uh, this gives us an opportunity not only for our kids to continue to play tennis, but to also appreciate art. And your art is wonderful. So we thank you very much and uh, let's have some fun. And now I'd like to introduce Nick Roberts, Superintendent of Parks and Aquatics in the Parks Department of miami Dade. I just want to say good morning and welcome to Norman and Jean Reach Park. I'm extremely happy to be here today for this unveiling. How cool is it that you guys are going to be actually playing on a piece of art? I mean, where else can you do that? Um, the Parks Department has had a long-standing relationship with the USTA. Over the years, we've been able to train and certify staff instructors, as well as work with various grassroots organizations like First Serve throughout the county to grow the game of tennis. I would like to thank the USTA as well as Chase for selecting Miami-Dade as one of its five host cities for this beautiful art installation. I'd also like to congratulate First Serve, especially James, Leslie, and Chris for being recognized for their hard work and dedication. We are proud and grateful to have you as one of our programming partners. And lastly, I want to thank the parents and all of the participants for coming out today and supporting Miami-Dade Parks. Thank you. 
And now I'd like to introduce Elsa Bitar, Chase Market Director from Miami, to officially present a plaque commemorating the unveiling of the U.S. Open Art Court's first ever court. Thank you very much. And once again, Elsa Bitar, Chase Market Director, Miami. Hi, good morning everyone. I'm actually very thrilled and excited to be part of this, um, but I'm more than anything honored to be representing Chase in such a great opportunity to have our children be able to play as a, the, in the mural uh, that we have here. I want to start off by saying this is a campaign uh, that uh, is an extension of First Serve, uh, Return to Serve, and as an extension of Return to Serve, this is something that started five years ago by partnering up with the USDA Foundation. And uh, it has been an opportunity for us to be able to continue this uh, by including our amazing artist, creating such a beautiful mural. So on behalf of Chase, very happy to be here. Thrilled to see the kids being able to play on such beautiful murals. And I want to thank everybody that was involved and being part of such an amazing experience. Thank you, Elsa. Now let's let the excitement build for a second as we get the drone into the air and we can take some really cool photos and video of the kids from First Serve Miami unveiling the court. But I'd like to introduce Manuela and Gray from Keep Create, the two individuals that made these beautiful pieces of art a reality and are gonna enable these kids to play on something as beautiful as what you are about to see. So I'd like to welcome once again Manuela and Gray from Key Create to come up here and officially do the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 countdown. Oh, oh. oh. 
Hi, I'm Gray. And I'm Manuela. We're, We're Key Create. Create. A lot of our art is to create uplifting, high vibration, and positive experiences. So this was the perfect outlet to showcase a special piece made just for the 50th anniversary of the US Open. We were super stoked at the opportunity to paint a tennis court. We love the idea of painting a horizontal surface, you know, an artwork that you step directly into. It's called Love Infinity, and we wanted to promote infinite love for your passion, whether it be tennis, whether it be art, or any other thing that inspires you. We were fortunate to have First Serve Miami here. A national junior tennis and learning chapter. This program is all about tennis and learning, so it was really awesome to have the youth come by and learn a new skill that hopefully they can take with them for the future. People who paint put so much emotion into their paintings, and people who play tennis also put emotion into what they're doing, their passion. For the both of them to be combining together is amazing. The colors are really spectacular. It was super cool that the kids got to put their tennis muscles to use in creating a new artwork. And I love the idea that the kids are gonna come back and get to play tennis on an artwork that they you know, have their fingerprint in. We know that creativity and imagination is not limited to art. We like the idea of connecting the lines between art and the art of tennis. And bring another level of wonder to playing the game. Built by Arthur and Billy, Jimmy and Chrissy, Martina, Mac, and countless others. Built through determination and drive passion and pride built on the strength of a city that never sleeps and players who never give up built from hopes dreams and what ifs built to inspire and amaze built to be the world's grandest stage built for the fans and the future for challengers and champions. United States Open the 2018 U.S. Open. Built for glory. The very first U.S. Open for Venus Williams, 17 years old. A young woman with unbelievable potential. Oh, now there you see an example of that talent. Venus Williams is into the championship against Martina Hingis. Venus Williams, and she has definitely been the story of this tournament. I don't think she expected to be here, but there she is. And what an ovation for her. is the U.S. Open champion, Venus Williams. What a tournament for her. This youngster will be heard from on this court in this place again. Martina Hingis goes into the history books. Venus Williams goes into our hearts.
Flash came to us and he says, I have an idea. You know, I, the idea is a concept of how to bring tennis out of the country clubs and put it into the public parks and public recreational areas and really expose a lot of kids to tennis. The benefit of an NJTL program is really to provide opportunities for youth that are looking to get into a sport. Just teaching them how to be leaders, just teaching them how to build their self-confidence, their self-esteem, and using these tools in life beyond the tennis court. I know how important it is for kids to have an outlet that really stresses education. I learned that at a very young age. My parents were, were there to stress it for me, and if it ever wasn't stressed in my household, it was stressed at the NJTL program, the Harlem Junior Tennis Program where I was. There's nothing more rewarding than when you meet somebody who will tell you, I am now a doctor, I'm now a lawyer, and I owe it to the NJTL program. I know that Arthur is very happy. He's looking down upon us, and I'm extremely proud of what all these wonderful people have done for our youth in America. America. Chase is thrilled to expand the Return to Serve program to include the Art Courts Initiative in celebration of the U.S. Open on the 50th anniversary. Now I know this was a long time in the making. How do you think they turned out? These murals turned out to be beautiful, thanks to the local artists uh, and be able to enjoy the kids here and see how they're able to, to can we change that? I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, it's, it, it's, it's actually able to um, enjoy the return to serve and the murals that we have here. They turn out to be beautiful and amazing. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks so much. Elsa. Thank you. Thank you. Built by Arthur and Billy, Jimmy and Chrissy, Martina, Mac, and countless others. Built through determination and drive, passion and pride. Built on the strength of a city that never sleeps and players who never give up. Built from hopes, dreams, and what ifs. Built to inspire and amaze. Built to be the world's grandest stage. Built for the fans and the future. For challengers and champions. United States Open the 2018 US Open. Built for glory.
present First Serve Miami. It's the 50th anniversary of the U.S. Open and they're giving us an art court. We were very excited when we were selected to be a part of the U.S. Open Art Courts in conjunction with Chase. I've never seen anything like it and I think the kids are going to go crazy once they see it. First Serve Miami became a National Junior Tennis and Learning chapter last year. First Serve started in 1974 here in Miami. We were very fortunate to have uh, great leaders in terms of Arthur Ashe. Now we have the backing of USTA to make our program what we've always wanted it to be, tennis and learning. They learn how to wait your turn, how to respect your teammate. You know, we're doing now STEM with them. So within the courts, we're teaching them about technology and mathematics. When you're playing with other people, you have to trust them. They have to trust you. You have more communication involved. I really wanted to play with other people. It was a lot of money coming out my mom's pocket. And I got sponsored. The first time I picked up a racket, I was a little uh, surprised. I was like, how do you break this thing? <laughs> like, Just the growth of our program has been outstanding. Wherever we go, the kids really want to participate. My favorite U.S. Open champion is Roger Federer. He's always giving back to kids, and I think that's what's awesome about him. I'm really inspired by U.S. Open champion Stallone Stevens because we can have our highest high and our lowest lows, but in the end, we know we can fight hard and win it. We are making a significant difference here. Through our Adopt-a-Player program, we open... Yeah. 